What's up guys, Nate and Sutton back with another video and today we are talking about how to know if your crush likes you. We get a lot of questions on Instagram mainly about dating, just so many questions revolved around dating so we're like let's do a video about that and what can we do and this is what we came up with. Yeah and looking back on my dating career, I uh, career. It I, was a career. <laughs> I could have really used this kind of insight because I was pretty oblivious. I took a lot of signals as if they were green lights when they might have been red lights. <laughs> Just because someone doesn't show all of these signs doesn't mean that they're not interested in you, but these are t very good signs that they like you. Let's go. So the first one is that they ask you a lot of questions. You know all about this one, don't you? Yeah, that's what we did on our first date was we just called it like the question game where we would just go back and forth asking each other questions. And this is kind of a good example of that not all of these apply. Like, um, So Sutton, she was asking me a lot of questions, but I wasn't really asking you much questions. Not because I didn't like her, but because I was just didn't know how to have a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I told him the easiest thing was like, if I ask him a question, the easiest thing is to say, what about you? Like he doesn't even have to come up with a question, just use my question. Mm -hmm. Which is a good dating tip is ask questions. Yeah. You should always know more about the other person than they know about you. My dad taught me that when I was little and now Nathaniel lives by it too. <laughs> <laughs> it makes you it makes the other person feel really good. Everyone likes talking about themselves. The next way to know if your crush likes you is if you guys make plans to hang out together and for whatever reason it doesn't work out, if they initiate an alternative plan, like another time to hang out, that's a good sign. This is such a big one and one that I just didn't recognize early on in my dating life and I wish I would have because it could have saved me so much pain and frustration that what happened just it happened so many times where like <laughs> like <laughs> I would have a date plan I would somehow convince a girl to go on a date with me and then they might cancel for some stupid reason but then they would never follow up with like well I can't hang out tonight but would you like to hang out this time would you hang would you like to hang out another day and if they don't do that, that's not a good sign. Not a good sign that so they like So would you it. ask them to hang out again? Yeah. And, and then, then would they come? No, they might not respond. <laughs> <laughs> that's so sad. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, but now we know it was just God protecting me and saving me for a second. But back then I thought there was something wrong with me. But that actually happened to us too because when he asked me to hang out the <clears> first time ever, we picked a day and then it ended up he couldn't do it that day. And I was like... Dang, because I was so looking forward to it. And I was like, now what are we going to do? Like, what if he doesn't come up with something else? And we were talking about that. And I, we don't remember what happened. But I think what happened was he didn't initiate something else. And I said, like, well, what about another day or something? That's just because I was playing games and stupid. The case in point is this. If your date cancels on you and they say, well, I can't hang out this time, but I would love to hang out next weekend. That's a good sign. Yeah. But if they cancel on you and don't show any interest in other plans, move on. It's not looking good. Another dead giveaway that your crush likes you is if they are the ones initiating conversations. They're texting you, they're calling you, they're Snapchatting you. If they're the ones that are initiating it, green light. Also, message to the girls. I feel like it's a common thing to wait for the guy to text you all the time or call you all the time. But you know, if you want to talk to them, you can text them too. Because they're probably living by these same rules. Like, you know, if you text him first, then he'll be like, oh, she's interested in me. But if you never say anything mm -hmm. to him or like never reach out, he's like, oh, I might be bothering her. Like if I keep texting her. So don't be afraid to put yourself out there too. At least some of the times. Yeah. Another thing that's probably pretty common is that they might be a little awkward or nervous around you if they like you. If they stutter on the words or they just don't make sense. <laughs> That was me. <laughs> and another good sign is if they compliment you, you know? If they tell you that you're beautiful or that you look good or that you're smart. Do you know what my, your first compliment to me was and mine to you? That your face is really symmetrical. <laughs> oh, is that what it was? I thought it was my hair. Oh, maybe I did say that, yeah. I think he said, you have really nice hair, right? Yeah, I do remember Do you know what I said to you? That my teeth look fake? Yeah. <laughs> I asked him if his teeth were real when we first, on our first date. 
that's a compliment though. Yeah, made me feel <laughs> In good. In a way. <laughs> Made me feel pretty good about myself. Another clue that your crush might like you is if when you're talking to them, they tell you personal information about themselves. Like, they're really opening up to you and not just keeping it surface level, like, boring stuff. Yeah, they might share their dreams with you, their ambitions, where they want to be going in life. Their past. Yeah, their past. <sighs> Do you remember the first thing? Was that a burp? Yeah. <laughs> you never burp. Oh, it just happened. Do you uh, remember the first personal information that we gave each other? I know we got there fast is all I know. Oh yeah, it was like our very first sentence. <laughs> you know, on Facebook, I told, I asked you if you were a virgin. Oh, the virgin thing, yeah. Yeah, I think within our very first conversation, we discovered that we were virgins. Yeah, but it wasn't in an awkward way, like, are you a virgin like that? It, somehow, whatever we were saying, it like naturally flowed into that. I don't even know how that happened. But it wasn't like weird. Yeah, so there you go. Another dead giveaway is if they laugh at you very easily. Like you may be even you may be saying something that you don't even think is funny at all, but they just find a reason to laugh at you for whatever. And or they try to be funny. They try to make you laugh. Did Everyone you, likes someone funny. Did you think I was funny? Not at first. You didn't? <laughs> Are you serious? What did you do funny? I don't know. No, not at, <laughs> not at first. I didn't think he had like a silly personality, but yeah. after probably like our, I don't know, the third or fourth time hanging out, then you started to really come out. Yeah, it takes shelf. it takes me a little while to let my goofy side come out. <laughs> Biggest giveaway if they like you is that they initiate touch, like holding your hand or maybe like fixing your hair, like brushing shoulders mm -hmm. or something. Or like when they're talking to you, they like do that, you know, like that. Oh, some yeah, people grabbing your arm. some people just have that personality they do that anyway but it's a, it's a good sign yeah i always tried to find a reason to touch her i uh what was the way that, oh yeah you want to tell them how i first initiated holding hands guys don't take this as a note are you kidding this, this so, is awesome he was so proud of this moment but it was just like lame it made you seem scared to hold my what? hand like just on your own he had to make some thing up you do it. Let's reenact it. So we're in the car. Here we go. <laughs> so, you want to see what it feels like to hold my hand? I don't even know what I said. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and there it began. I think that's way do you less. You want to see what it feels like instead of just like grabbing. I my think hand. that's way less. I, to me, that's kind of awkward. Just like yeah. all of a sudden, like, <laughs> like no comment. Just. <laughs> to me, that's a little odd. I didn't think so. You should have uh, used that for the kiss, too. You want to see what it feels like to kiss me? You want to see what my lips feel like? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a good one. I think that one, I just laid it on you, didn't I? Yeah. No, I think we I think we were talking about like what we were thinking about or something. Mm -hmm. And then you said this, and you kissed me. Ooh, I'm good. <laughs> so smooth. <laughs> the last one that we really feel like is a obvious sign that they like you is if they stare at you a lot. Like maybe if you're in class and you like notice them just staring at you, like that's pretty obvious. Or they smile at you a lot. Like when you're talking to them, they have a big grin on their face. Nathaniel has this weird ability to smile while he's talking no matter what he's saying even if he's like saying something <laughs> bad he just says it like this like he well, always <laughs> well now you know I'm gonna be smiling. some people suffer like from rbf which is me and nathaniel is like the opposite of that he's just always like talking with a smile <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a jolly old fellow. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. I think those are the biggest dead giveaways that your crush is into you. It's easy for a lot of us to be in denial, like me. Like if you, if you want something to work out, but it's not working out, you might convince yourself that they like you and they really don't. So look for the signs. Yeah, and if there's any other dating topics you guys want us to cover, put it in the comments. We can make little videos like this about certain topics because we get asked dating questions just all the time. Mm -hmm. And I will say that it, it is possible for somebody to like you and not show these signs. Actually, sometimes people will play that game and they'll purposely not give you any signs because they don't want you to know that they're interested in you, which is just so silly. But we recommend if they're doing that, 
probably not the kind of person you want to be with anyway. All right, guys. Well, this is Nathan Sutton sowing seeds of truth, love, and inspiration one view at a time. And that's how to know if your crush likes you. <laughs> Do we ever kiss on camera? Like that was... <laughs> I thought that was planned, but it wasn't. Are we allowed to kiss on camera? <laughs>